Hello everyone, this is Matt Neiman at Regatta Network and today I wanted to just go show you a new uh, feature we're rolling out within the management console. Um, this is our new registrant uh, list uh, that is accessible from your edit event entries. Um, you may have noticed when you've clicked on it now it's changed the uh, format um, and I'm going to go over the newer features we have. The first thing we have is you may have noticed when you first come into one of your events that you're now showing uh, 20 of X amount of entries that you have in this case for this test event. I've got 50 in, 58 entries and it just shows 20 of them and now you have these pagination tools um, so that if those of you working on a smaller screen uh, don't want to do a bunch of scrolling up and down to see all the entries, uh, you can have it all displayed on one screen and navigate this way. If you choose to have the traditional layout, um, you can pick either 50 or show all. Uh, show all was how it was before and uh, you can scroll down and see that you now have all your entries available to pick. And just like before, you still can click on the person's name to access the uh, edit screen to adjust information and so on and so forth. So let's bring it back to that and the next thing is the columns. You may notice when you first come into your event uh, these should be the default columns that are showing. You've got name, sale number, fleet rating, payment, payment date, and your tools which are the uh, edit, full event, edit full entry, print entry form, and upload event documents. Um, if you're wondering where some of the columns may have gone, you now have this ability to show and hide columns. And when you click on this you'll get a drop down menu and be presented with the columns we've shown in the past. Some that were combined in one we've broken out now into separate columns, but as easy as turning these off and on, you can now create a custom layout that suits your events um, needs. And just like that, now you can see we've got a different layout. And you can turn those off and on however you like you can even include them all and as you'll see they will start to expand out some uh, but depending on what you need to see on your event it's as easy as that now you may be wondering after you get it to uh, how you like it um, whether or not uh, your setup is the same so one of the cool features of this is as long as you have cookies enabled on your browser when you leave this menu and come back it will retain the settings um, of how you had your table set up, not only the columns included, but uh, how you have this set uh, to show, and even sorts that you may have had in place. Um, so again, as long as you have cookies enabled, that will track uh, on the particular browser you're using. One thing to keep in mind about that is that if you you know shift to another computer, you will get uh, initially loaded up the default display that you uh, saw at the beginning of this. The next thing I want to show you is uh, column sorting. It works pretty much like you'd expect it to. Um, one additional feature you can do is if you hold down the shift key, you can now sort by multiple columns. Uh, so in this case, we could sort by name first, which sorts by the last name, and then sort by sale number. And as you can see, the two Gary fingers there in this list do sort. Um, as expected. And the next thing I want to show you is the search option. This is an inline search uh, to decrease down your records to find something quicker. In the past, you know, you may have been searching, searching for a uh, person with the last name of Scott, for example. And as quickly as you type it in, it will filter your entries down into the items that match that. Uh, it is a global search, so in the case of 222, um, it's pulling up both this person's sale number based on the 222, as well as, I'm guessing, this person has a rating of 222, um, which you may get some uh, curious results, but in case that you're wondering why, there's the point there. Usually uh, most people will be using this for either sale number or name, I'm guessing, and it uh, accomplishes that quite quickly. And the final thing to cover is some of you that run events uh, that have camps and classes uh, set up with the multi-fee 
uh, sectional fees. Um, we have this enabled as well. As you can see here, I've got a sailing camp that's got different um, multi fees set up to where people can register for different segments of of the uh, class. And in the same way, you can turn these things off and on. And the neat thing about this is when you're sorting, you're sorting within the subsets here and not overall uh, as you would intend it to be. And finally, I wanted to show you that now that we've got this particular event, the uh, columns set up and the sorts how we want it, and as mentioned, uh, the cookies will save the state of the setup. One thing you might be wondering is, will this affect the other events? And as mentioned, this is saving a cookie that's stamped with the event um, that you're working on. So if we switch back over to our PHRF event we were working on, and we refresh that, as well as navigate away, from the menu, um, you'll see that it retains the settings for this particular event. So again, just to keep that in mind, your column sort set up everything is on an event by event basis, uh, again tied to your browser and the, the uh, computer that you're using. Okay, I think that covers everything that I can think of on the new registrant list. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line at support at regattanetwork.com, visit us in the knowledge base, or give us a call at 866-987-2638. Thanks.